What's up, guys? I'm back with another video. It's been a while. And you're gonna ask me, Oh, why did you take so long to upload this video? They lost Sunday. It's, it's Friday. Or this... Uh, we had no business being in that game. We were gonna get beat 39. No, I thought they were gonna blow us out. I was wrong. Every analyst was wrong. If you, if you saw that game coming... You're from the future, because no analyst was saying, Oh, the Cowboys are going to only lose by five points. But we lost by five points. We would have beat them if we had Dak, but we didn't. Because Garrett Gilbert hasn't has thrown six passes in seven years. If, if he can come close to beating the Steelers, just imagine what Dak could do. You guys were playing zone the entire game. Let's get to a little rough in the passer call. If you say that's rough in the passer, there were two times when Garrett Gilbert was throwing the ball when he got sandwiched. Like, he already threw the ball. T.G. Watt just... Him and another Steeler body slammed to him after he threw the ball. You don't say that's rough in the passer? Then I don't... No, it was not even after he threw the ball. It was as he threw the ball. That should have been rough in the passer. That would have gotten us a touchdown to seal the game when we were up by like seven. It was twice when, or the first one was T.J. Watt, and then the second was was T.J. Watt and like number ninety. I don't know his name because he's irrelevant. But two times, and the those were very close to the red zone. The first was like at our forty, own forty five. Second time, it was like in the red zone, and then he threw a pick because it was rough in the passer. But I'm not going to say because the refs suck. Jalen Smith barely touched his helmet, and it was way after he threw the ball. He had already thrown the ball. That Jalen Smith penalty where Chase... Claypool flopped like a little girl. That was BS. Everybody knew it was BS. Even the Steelers fans. And let's get back to the rough in the past. Even Steelers fans were like, yeah, you guys got screwed on that call. Because cause if that wasn't... And the one before... Well, that was before the rough in the past call. We would have... We would have had it on the five-yard line, punched it in with Tony Pollard, end of game. You guys wouldn't have been able to come back. It would have been like, even if you got it done in two minutes, it was like eight minutes left. We would have went down, got up by another seven, which is 14 points. You guys would have tried to get it down to like before the two-minute warning. Say you do, four minutes. All we need to do is just run the ball with Pollard. Like, get first downs. Don't run out of bounds. And by the time it's a two-minute warning, we either score another touchdown or we just keep on running it until it's like 1.30 about. That's when we kneel it, score another field goal. We're up 17 points with one minute left. You're not coming back. Or we just score another touchdown up 21 points but that's not how the game went because the refs like always like to screw Cowboys fans yeah you should have not won that game Steelers fans be lucky that the refs were on your side this time if Dak was playing you guys would have gotten we would have beat you by like at least 14 points He's the only reason why we were in games.
and for those Steelers fans, <coughs> Jaron, saying, uh, you guys, you guys lost to us on a bad game. There's no such thing in the NFL as a bad game. Either you play like crap, or you play very good. You fans up there who like to put your team up here and say, oh, we're going 16-0, and you don't get to use that excuse against a 2-6 and team. We're 2-6. and six. We literally are, a t are in line for a top 5 draft pick. If you lose, almost lose to the team, you don't get to and say that you're the best team. You're going to get beat. And for those of you who say you're going to the Super Bowl, the furthest you're getting is conference championship. If you're lucky. It all depends on what teams make it. I know the Chiefs and the Steelers are making it. How Garrett Gilbert played. I say he played all right, but when he spun around, that's when I lost it. Either throw the ball away, because we were in field goal range. That brought us out of field goal range. Because it was third down, and then we were forced to punt for And then... Okay, that's it. I'm changing my Jack Prescott jersey. I was feeling myself on su Sunday. We almost beat an undefeated team, so that's the only time I was happy. I didn't care. I, I honestly was ticked off because the player, the Laketon Van Der Esch call was total BS. Like, like, I know that he retaliated, but the dude literally wasn't going to let go of his helmet because he didn't get the first down. And it was on third down. And he didn't convert. And second of all, your run defense absolutely sucks. It's not as bad as the... Well, actually, the Cowboys run defense is actually pretty good. I mean, we, you guys couldn't convert. You had like two plays that went past the first down every time you ran. There was like a few plays. And the special teams coach, bro, that play was nice. Even though he would have gotten in the end zone if um it would have been, if it wouldn't have been a legal block in the back. That actually helped the Steelers kind of because if he wouldn't have pushed him in the back, that dude would have been gone. And that what I'm saying, guys, is. We almost beat you guys. You beat us, but it shouldn't really count as a win if you almost lose to a 2-6 and six team. That's literally like... It's basically saying... Like you're the bet... That you're the um, Steelers and almost losing to the Cowboys. That's a better... That's a better thing. That's a better analogy. You don't get to sit up here. There are three type of Steelers fans. One that only like the Steelers because they live in Pennsylvania. Second, the diehard Steelers fans. Third, this is mostly, don't take offense to this, but this is mostly in girls. Watch well, this four. Three, three is the bandwagon type. Well, they're not really bandwagons. They just don't follow sports that don't know any of the players, but just like the Steelers. Fourth is, they only like, fourth is that type of fan that only likes a team for their colors. I'm kidding. That's not anything. That shouldn't even exist. They're not even a fan. They're just like a team. Just to like a team. And... Yeah, it's very, very 
tough this year being a Cowboys fan. I don't want to make the playoffs. What's the point? Getting a terrible pick when you can get, when you can maybe rebuild your offensive line. You can get a stud like Mika Parsons. I say we don't go offensive guard or offensive tackle in the first round. That would be a dumb move. Because unless we, Mika Parsons is gone or any of the corners are gone, we don't take an offensive lineman. So we don't absolutely need it. We still need it, but it's not like top. Don't. The top two priorities, cornerback, safety, linebacker, and defensive end. Just guess what? We need help on our defensive side of the ball. We need a good defensive end. I thought Everson Griffin could really get it done this season. He couldn't. So next video that I do will probably be mostly about a good topic that first take and pretty much all the analysts are saying, should the Cowboys draft, if they somehow get the first or second pick, should they draft Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields? But that will be next video. Peace, guys. You almost lost to the Cowboys. That's really sad. Just saying that. It should count as a loss, bro. Peace. Trash.